Your boy, Business from Heaven, back with another video slash podcast. This is going up on my podcast to tell us this a societal podcast, but this is not society, this is anime. However, we do live in society if your name is Aaron Yeager and company, because chapter 133 was crazy, and the screech's been telling me 134, which is this right here, is even wilder. Uh, we are a month away from chapter 135, which is the sequel to whatever this crazy chapter is supposed to be, uh, and the same week, uh, I believe the same week, I think the seventh, the final, the first episode of the final season of Attack on Titan comes out, and one of supposedly the last four chapters in this series is dropping the ninth, that's what I believe I was told, so we're Circling the wagon, uh, seven years, uh, arguably the preeminent franchise to come out in the 2010s. I mean, you have Demon Slayer, which has pretty much reached the heights that people thought Attack on Titan would at first. Um, but, you know, obviously quality, quantity, and I would contend that Demon Slayer isn't going to finish as possibly the best anime of the past 20 years even though it's outsold what many consider the best anime of the past 20 years i don't think it's quality wise would be that but i do believe attack with titan if these next four chapters which again that's what i've heard we have left those next four chapters stick the landing and from what i'm hearing they it probably won't but if it does attack with titan is a good argument since season three, since season three, it's been incomparably on fire. And since season three, part two, it's been another realm. But this is where we left off. I believe Hysteria, is that a name? His, yeah, Hysteria. Uh, Historia, Historia. Historia was uh, in the last panel of the previous chapter. Is that is that a foot above him? Oh, Jesus, dude. Isayama, man, he... God damn, man. I mean, everybody, everywhere. Universal, global. Ugh. People being drove off and... Jo- mm. Goodness gracious, dude. This is the first, like, three pages. You have people literally, like, 2012, the movie, jumping off into the ocean. God damn. I mean, people having to console their kids, trying to pass the baby back. I, I guess maybe that baby's like a symbolism of like maybe Historia's kid. Oh my God. Make that the, make that the shot. That, that's heart wrenching. What just fucking happened? Can you please make that the shot? That's, that's the thumbnail. Ugh, God, this is what I, I could read Attack on, uh, I could read Dragon Ball, I could read Boruto, I could read Demon Slayer, I could read Jojolian even, without the camera on you. I think the reaction, I, the, the quality wouldn't be changing very much without my reaction, which for the podcast listeners, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get the, unless you go to the YouTube, you're not going to get the visual reaction, um, but Attack on Titan, dude, I feel like, I do a pretty good job of emoting what I'm seeing, especially if you go back and read the Hans chapter. I'm not even going to name it because I mean, I'm sure all y'all can figure out the number. But if you read the Hans chapter that I have a video of, I was pretty emotive uh, in, that, in that chapter. And so far, dude, oh my God, dude, look at that. That might be. There's so many panels. In the past 15 chapters, maybe even 10 chapters, but I'm trying to think like 120. Was it 121? I was the, the when the fuckery started. I think it was 121. Um, yeah, I think it was 121. Let's say the last 15. Last 15 chapters. Um, so many panels that I've just looked at and be like, only like. A modern, like, 
all-time great storyteller, a modern Shakespeare or, a, a, you know, I mean, most of those guys, you know, they didn't use pictures, they used words, but in a sense, like, you know, the the, the phrase, the, 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 uh, the, the, the trope has always been, you know, a picture, you know, says a thousand words. And like with Isayama, it's like a picture says a hundred thousand words. We used hate, raised hate, believed hate to be our savior. We left all this, we left all the problems we created on the island of devils. And as a result, the devil was born to return the hate we gave it. Uh, I wonder in 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 symbolism, like I know the the devil, like actually the devil, like they made a deal with uh, Emir. Um, I'm just wondering, like, is there a world in which somehow that devil ends up being Aaron? Like, I know symbolically we're speaking right now, but maybe in the end. I don't think it's a single thing. The thing is, you know, that's not even hollow. Like, there's a physical body in that, in that skeletal frame. But it is hollow. Is that actually hollow? It looked like it was, like, filled. I'm gonna try to moves. Like it's aerodynamics. I'm gonna need to see the animator really properly. I only kind of did like a little breakdown of his, his frame like a couple chapters back. We got the full reveal of him, but his his the way he moves still doesn't exactly make sense to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wait, did he just create a Titan? Is that the Beast Titan? He can do that? What the fuck? He just... He literally just created a Titan. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> What's that? Nigga, it's a, it's a it's a bird, it's a plane. It's literally a plane, motherfucker. We coming through. Oh yeah, Capone. I'll try to crash land this with the with twelve billion damn titans <laughs> with him. Yeah, I'll try to crash land. Okay, okay, all right. I feel like uh I feel like the Starks had better ideas against the damn Night King than crashing, <laughs> crash landing this <laughs> by the fucking Titans. Why don't Aaron just have the 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 Beast Titan? So it, if we have three chapters left or four, are we really gonna get a Levi against Beast Titan uh, finale? Or I mean, not necessarily versus. I don't think that's possible. I don't believe I can fight, but a Levi and. Zeke moment? We're gonna get another one of those? How how is he gonna possibly write Zeke into this? What the fuck happened to Zeke? I gotta know that shit. If you, listen, every shonen writer ever that has finished the series has had problems, at least at least a couple problems. Maybe not the same. I mean, like I imagine Yu Yu Hakusho, I hear a lot of hype for that series. Probably not as many questions as say Naruto, but if you can't answer where Levi, I mean, where Zeke is at currently, that's a big question. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit what happens with uh, Historia and Ymir and, and Aaron. I need to see where Zeke is at right now. <laughs> I'm sure he'll answer because he's Isayama, but that fucking monkey. <laughs> that, that's what I want. Let's go. That's the moment I need it. It's not the same thing, though, because that's not Zeke, but... It's, that's not Zeke. I think he just like literally just symbolized, like just not symbolized, um, synthesized the Beast Titan like replacement. But unless, unless somehow Aaron absorbed Zeke, and with having Zeke in his possession, that's how he's allowed to use the because he needs to touch Zeke, right? So maybe he has Zeke captured in that sense. He has Zeke captured and they can cut down Zeke 
Aaron loses the power of the founder because he's not a he's not a a, a royal, right? That's big. That's huge. So he has to cut down. That's big. We're not gonna see that in this chapter, but that that's huge. Oh yeah, one more, one more Rainer fight. That's all. And one more Rainer against Aaron fight. That's all you could ever ask for. And he, I, I would say this is actually like a something big to contend. Um, the Japanese, they always kind of, uh, not just Japanese, really, the Parisians, uh, many other art centers in the world shun Americans for just kind of lessening the value of art or projecting our own opinions onto what art is. And most of the time, I feel like that's kind of a fail-safe excuse to use for something that just isn't good and, you know, not necessarily objectively not there's nothing is objectively bad, but could kind of be contended that it's not very good. When it comes to manga and anime, other than One Piece, I would say that the length of things we tend to look at in a negative sense, as in, you know, drawing out bloated characters. In Japan, we have enough bodies of, of work in various series like anime and manga and movies and such to show that what we consider bloated out bloated and drawn out is not what they consider bloated and drawn out i think we are projecting a little bit again one piece is drawn out and shit needs to end there's no reason why you should take a one fifth of a century to get a series to a point where you feel comfortable ending it not necessarily even ending it. He could still go on for another five years if he wanted to. I heard he's supposed to end the next in the next year, but we'll see. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> fuck one piece and fight at the same time. I feel like, at least with this situation in particular, I feel like we're gonna get a maybe the next chapter. A lot of fighting. Uh, I think, you know, Rainer somehow dislodges. You know, maybe Zeke somehow. We get a, a touching Levi moment, which is what I wanted. It, just 10 minutes ago, I said it. Um, yeah. yeah that's, I mean, that's interesting. Um, so, yeah. I, I think that Aaron is well aware that he'll probably lose. Um, so... I thought I think that's I think Aaron is pretty much planning to like be killed by his friends, in a sense. Um, which I mean I think Aaron somebody wanted to die for quite a while if they realized the truth about the world. Um, that's fair. Okay, so this this post is interesting. The first part was going to be killing Zeke in hopes that will stop Aaron's founder. So let's say next chapter, again, three, one has to be dedicated towards the resetting the cycle or whatever the fuck. Uh, you see what I'm supposed to do with that. So let's, let's say, let's highball five. So four chapters left dedicated necessarily just to battling and maybe a culmination of said battling. Um, I think you could reasonably have the entire Aaron, uh, Zeke and Rainer fight. In the next chapter, have Levi cut him down, and then have nothing happen. This this right here, have nothing happen after he cuts Zeke down. Just one more like fuck you, Zeke from Levi, and then nothing happens. The the, the rumble, it's like a pause panel, and the rumbling keeps on going on. So the next three chapters, they have to figure out another way, right? Okay, so here we go right here. Man, it's four versus three powers to support five. Four versus four. Warhammer, uh, Jaw Titan, Founding Titan, Attack Titan. I believe that's the four he counted, I believe. Uh, Warhammer, Jaw, Attack, Founding. I think. I'm not sure. This, this part, this is something that Annie confirmed in the previous chapter. I don't know how this will affect. Maybe, maybe any comes in and eats Levi. I mean, uh, eats uh, Zeke. 
That's matter of fact. Now I just said that shit. That's probably what's gonna happen. I feel like Annie will eat Zeke before he dies. Boom. So she has. I don't know how far the shifting aspect goes, but she could have the power of the founding Titan. Or not the power of the, the like blood of a, a royal flowing through her, maybe. Um, but I would imagine that she. I imagine Rainer gets fucking killed by by Aaron. I, I think Aaron's gonna go out. I think Rainer's gonna go out like a beast. I feel like. Keith the Beast Titan Poggers. Zeke was holding Aaron's head the moment he transformed that gigantic ant. I'm not sure. You know, this one. This one, I, I really don't know of. This one, this this one, I, I just, I, he, he synthesized a Beast Titan. But, I want to say this. <laughs> yeah, I, you got to fucking love Levi against Zeke. That, that's, oh, all right, so I got to wrap this up. Uh. Back on the streets, got a big